Yuhai Slavkowski. Canadians could surprise you in 2024-25. While it's unlikely the Montreal Canadiens will break Canada's long-standing Stanley Cup drought next spring, there's plenty of reason to believe they could exceed expectations in the upcoming 2024-25 season. The Habs are three years removed from their improbable run to the 2021 Stanley Cup final, where they shocked the hockey world by taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. The following year, they plunged to the bottom of the NHL standings. Now, as the Canadians gear up for a new chapter, one player could make all the difference. Juraj Slavkovsky, selected first overall in the 2022 NHL draft after their last place finish, Slavkovsky is now positioned to give the Habs a fighting chance in the Atlantic Division alongside a surprising new addition, Patrick Laney. Acquired in a major offseason move, Lane brings a lethal scoring touch that, combined with Slavkovsky's continued development, could elevate the Canadians' offense to new heights. Slavkovsky, who inked an eight-year extension with Montreal on July 1, 2024, worth $7.6 million annually through 2033, is already proving his value. Despite being only 20 years old, he's emerged as one of the league's top power forwards. His rare combination of size, 6'3", 238 pounds, and clutch play has captivated fans and media alike. There's a buzz around him. He has an aura of a star player, consistently making big plays. From January to April 2024, Slavkovsky notched 16 goals and 35 points over 40 games while averaging 1916 of ice time per game. His natural ability to influence games has become a significant weapon for Montreal. Slavkovsky's rise quieted critics who, at the time of his draft, questioned why the Canadians selected him over Shane Wright, Logan Cooley, and Simon Nemec. Two years later, it appears Montreal's gamble has paid off. Following his first 20-goal, 50-point NHL season, Slavkovsky is expected to start 2024-25 as a core offensive option for the Habs. If he maintains his back-half production from 2023 to 2024, where he played at a 71-point pace, it's not far-fetched to imagine Slavkovsky reaching the 80-point mark in his third NHL season. This will likely be his first full season as a bona fide top-line forward tasked with elevating his team's offensive output. The Canadians will need more than just Slavkovsky to climb the ranks of the Atlantic Division, especially against teams like the Ottawa Senators, Buffalo Sabres, and Detroit Red Wings, not to mention the aging Lightning. However, they have an emerging group of forwards ready to contribute. Nick Suzuki, fresh off a career-high 77 points, continues to show why he's one of the most promising young centers in the league. Meanwhile, Cole Caulfield, who managed 28 goals last season, is poised for a stronger campaign, now 18 months removed from shoulder surgery. But the most intriguing player to watch could be Kirby Doc. Despite a devastating injury early last season, Doc has all the tools to become a legitimate top six center. Pairing the six foot four forward with a more refined version of Slavkovsky could create one of the league's most exciting young duos. Montreal's forward lines, featuring a dynamic combination of Suzuki Caulfield and Lake Nidach, could be bolstered by key secondary players like Alex Newhook. Although 2024 first round picks Ivan Demidov and Michael Hage may still need more time to develop, the Habs forward depth shows significant promise. On defense, the Canadians are hoping David Reinbacher can make an impact in his rookie season. While they lack the star power of a Victor Hedman or a Rasmus Dahlin, Reinbacher's offensive instincts could complement rugged defenseman Arbor Jacki, forming an exciting new defensive pairing. 
Additionally, the blue line includes several high ceiling prospects like Lane Hudson, Jaden Struble, and also Logan Mayu, Justin Barron, and Caden Goulet, any one of whom could emerge as a key difference maker. Montreal chose not to make external additions to their defense this summer, opting to develop their young core. The challenge, however, remains their defense, which lacks a player of Moritz Sider or Jake Sanderson's caliber. Still, with the promising Montembeau in goal, the Habs could surprise. Montembeau finished 10th in the league in goals saved above expected, 18.39, last season, proving he's one of the Atlantic Division's top netminders. His strong play could keep the Canadians competitive, even with a young defense in front of him. After years of fighting for top draft lottery positioning, the Canadians aren't quite ready to contend for the Stanley Cup. But with the emergence of Slavkovsky, the addition of Laney, and the development of their young talent, they could be in for a far more competitive season than many expect. The Atlantic Division should take note. The Canadians could be more than just a rebuilding team. They could be a rising threat.